Okay, so before I dive into this video, let's just have a look at the backstory of how the beard hair might have reached Turkey. So back in the 17th century, the Ottoman Empire was at its height, but then fast forwarding to the reign of the last Ottoman Sultan, known as Sultan Abdul Hamid II, the Ottomans began to become a fractured state and started losing much of their territory. According to the Imam of the Grand Mosque of Mardin, in which the beard hair of the Prophet peace be upon him lies, the beard hair was brought over from Egypt during the reign of Sultan Abdul Hamid II and was placed in the mosque after it was dedicated to a family here. Okay, so that's the backstory. Now let's explore the old city of Mardin as we make our way to the Grand Mosque to get a glimpse of the hair. The old city of Mardin is really quite unique. Firstly, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, which means that the buildings go untouched, which means they are preserved extremely well. The buildings were constructed using yellow limestone cut rock and for that reason they are extremely sturdy and the old way of life still continues here. You won't see any cars in the narrow alleyways and cobblestone streets except for on the main road that goes through the old city. The Grand Mosque's minaret can be seen from many parts of the city. Even then we got lost and were guided towards the mosque by a young helpful boy. This grand mosque was first constructed in the 12th century, but the imposing minaret was added in the late 19th century. Visitors will be welcomed by this majestic vast open courtyard, which is a nice change from the narrow cobblestone streets. Okay, so now we make our way into the mosque. The mosque is extremely spacious inside and still retains much of its former design and architecture. It's an extremely peaceful spot and as you can probably make out, a big change from the streets of the old city. On the left of the member is where we found the hair of the beloved prophet peace be upon him. This is it. Behind this glass lies what is believed to be the beloved hair of the prophet peace be upon him. In his lifetime his beard was full and dense. He used to have a habit of rubbing oil in his beard and would comb his beard often. It's recorded about his white hairs that he only had 17 in total spread across his beard and head hair. Another companion actually differed and said it could have been 20 white hair spread across his head hair and beard hair. Like others who visit the mosque and get a glimpse of the beloved hair of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, we too were transported back to the time of the Prophet himself in an attempt to imagine what he would have looked like. If you're interested in seeing more of the old city of Mardin, click on the links in the description below for a walking tour and a two-minute documentary featuring this great old city.